All right, guys, we are headed into game six of the NBA Finals tonight in Cleveland. We got Jordan Sharp on the line with us to talk a little spread, a little over-under, a little bit of everything tonight. How we doing, Jordan? Hey, I'm doing good, man. How are you? Doing great, man. Thanks. Pretty excited for this game. I want to start in by taking a look at the total for this. Right now, we're sitting at 194, 194 and a half, depending on who you're looking at. Game five was a push for most, leaving the series, or right now, for, for their season, 6-1-1 one, one for these teams in their last eight games. I think personally, unless J.R. Smith or uh, Clay Thompson really, really goes nuts tonight, we're looking at another under. You know, it's probably the you know it's probably the, the safer bet considering the trends we've seen established so far with this series. But I've been pretty keen on the over for the last couple of games, and I've been it's been it's burned me a few times. You know, we got a push last game, like you said, but 194 still is kind of inviting because, like you said, only it really is only going to take one more of those guys to get going tonight score you know well into double figures it was Tristan Thompson that got a sneaky 19 points in game number five you know that that that's kind of what helped the Cavs along in that one and J.R. Smith that you yeah, said just absolutely it just uh, fell off the face of the earth in the second half of that game but um, you know I think we can get, if we're, we can get some offensive performances from a couple of those guys especially on the Cavs you know and as well you know a couple of guys on Golden State but their offense looked really good five guys in double figures in game number five but I think the over actually I'm a trending like a favoring just a little bit more in this one uh, just because I fully expect Steph Curry and, and LeBron to do similar things to what they did in game five maybe not 37 and 40 points but I think they'll still get you know up, upwards of 30 plus each of them and um I think that could lead to the over being a pretty good bet here, despite Golden State being on the road. I think they figured out how to play against this Cleveland defense, going small, playing Draymond Green at the center. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm looking for another faster-paced game. The uh, the Cavs have slowly started to begin to shoot a little bit better here. If they can get above that 40% mark, I think the over is the play here. Yeah, you know, either way, I think it's going to be real close. You know, we just got that yeah. push the other day. It was just kind of a garbage time layup that got that over. Uh, now taking a look over to the spread line. If you want Warriors, you're looking at minus four, Cavs plus four and a half. I think that this is a really going to be really close, too, and I think that's what the books are looking at as well. Curry, Curry really uh, kind of came into his own in the series. He just really lit up the stat sheet. Golden State's finding success in their smaller lineup, especially with Andre Iguodala playing the way he was, but definitely going to have to hit some of those late free throws. Yeah, I think that um, the, the spread is a little closer to me. I think that if we... We barely missed out. I thought Cleveland was a pretty good play, and they were all up and right until the end of that game where they, they just kind of fell apart once again. Tonight, obviously, at home, things are a lot different, even though they are four-point home dogs. But I think that the spread is probably as even as it's been you know, throughout this entire series. I think minus four Golden State is pretty sharp for considering what we've seen throughout um, the last you know, five games. I, I'm I'm I think Golden State's going to win this game, but I hesitate to see whether or not they're going to cover. I mean, obviously they covered at home, but the, it, it's a little bit different atmosphere in Cleveland in the queue tonight. But um, I think I'm probably leaning towards the Warriors at this point. But I think maybe uh, just if you want to play it safe, maybe something on the money line at minus 175 might be a little bit better. Uh, I'm not I'm not really going you know heavy on one or one or either either side here. I think on the spread tonight, I think it's probably uh, right at where it should be. And uh, probably a little more focused on the total. Once again, I think that might be a little bit better uh, value for your money tonight. Yeah, you know what? I think that no matter which way this game goes, it's going to be really close. And the only thing that's been easy to predict about this whole series is how unpredictable it's been. And just one last quick question for you. I want to ask you about the MVP, who you think is going to win it. And do you think that LeBron has a shot to win it if Golden State pulls out the W tonight? I don't think that the uh, I don't think LeBron's going to get the MVP even if Golden State uh, wins. Uh, that would be a little bit too far fetched for me. But um, I think it's easy now, especially after Game Five and his spectacular 37 points. I think only on 23 shots or something ridiculous or whatever it was. Stephen Curry, I think, is the MVP for the Warriors once they uh, um, once they, if they do close it out. I think regardless of, of if it's in six or seven. Um, but you know that that's the beauty of this. It's come down to you know the two guys, the two guys who have won MVPs now battling it out for this award. Uh, have won regular season MVPs, and, and LeBron, of course, has won Finals MVP. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I think it's a foregone conclusion that it'll be Steph Curry now, uh, even if um, you know LeBron James has another spe spectacular performance and loses here tonight in Game Six, just because I think it would be a little bit too much of a precedent to set, especially against a guy like LeBron James. Uh, but you know, he, even though he is deserving, obviously it's an interesting discussion. I think you know that we're having, but 
Um, in the end, you know, other than that that bad, I think game two, Stephen Curry has been has been equally, you know, not equally as fantastic, but but still very very good and worthy of winning the MVP if the Golden State Warriors win this series. That's yeah, I, I would I would I would be very very shocked to see if the uh, voters gave it to LeBron. I think all, I think second place goes to Andre Iguodala too before LeBron if if the Golden State Warriors win because you know that would completely ignore how consistent he's been on both ends of the court for this series as well. Um, so if I had a vote, you know, maybe LeBron third place vote just ceremoniously, just even though that, that they lost, uh, I would go Steph Curry and Iguodala before him, I think easily. Yeah. I don't see it happening for him either. You know, I don't think he's playing that much better than, uh, Curry enough to, um, make a reasonable argument for him to win it with the team losing. Uh, Jordan, I want to thank you for coming on and talking to us about all these playoff games so far this year. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it guys. And, uh, you know, if, this is, uh, if we're right about this tonight, that'll be it for us for, uh, for basketball, but we will catch up with you for NFL. Yep, all right, looking forward to it. All right, guys, and remember to get those picks in early tonight. We will see you again at sportsbookreview.com.